Hi you guys, so as you can see from the title of this video, today I am going to talk about the Coney campaign of 2012. If you haven't watched the 30 minute documentary, you should, because even though it's called documentary, it's not really a documentary, it's more of a sort of this Hollywood style sort of documentary short movie, so really just give it a try. And if you really don't want to watch it, I will link to a shortened 3 minute Niga Higa version. Joseph Kony is one of the worst war criminals in the world. For ages he's been basically kidnapping kids. He's been turning the boys into basically killing machines, making them kill their parents, mutilitate people, kill other people, do horrible stuff to other people. So he's been basically just doing these horrible things making the girls into prostitutes, and barely anyone knew about him up until a few days ago when the documentary, documentary, went viral and it's basically exploded all over the internet. However, as with anything at all in this world, there are people that criticize it, and sadly they do have some valid points. First of all, the major argument is that the way the documentary sells Uganda is not entirely correct and that um, if there is a war it is far more complex than Joseph Kony and despite all the things he did he shouldn't be the priority in Uganda. They're arguing that Joseph Kony is something of a spent force with only a few hundred soldiers even though about 20,000 kids have been abducted over the past few decades and the government has supposedly done things far worse than 10 shows of Kony's put together. And then the primary concern in Uganda shouldn't be Joseph Kony, uh, but it should be trying to rebuild the economy and get a stable government and try to rebuild the educational system and get people basically their basic needs. Also, the video is not entirely current. Some of the images were shot in Uganda more than six years ago, and and the producer presents it as a, as a current situation. Yet northern Uganda is dealing a whole lot of fresh challenges of resettlement and dealing with broken systems. Regardless of the critique and um, all this that's been going on, the campaign itself is leading up to April 20th. The supporters of the campaign all over the world um, should unite and stick out posters all over major towns and cities in the whole world and to make the world even more aware of this supposed issue. What do you guys think? Invisible Children have responded to all these critiques and I'll link to that below too. So if you guys want to read more about it, educate yourself more about it, a bunch of articles online, uh, The Guardian has a really good one, I'll post to that below too. Uh, there's a bunch of videos online and yeah.